Hi, welcome to the vlog. Um, we're on uh, Whitchurch and Bankman at the moment. Uh, sorry, I keep saying Whitchurch, we're not even in Whitchurch. Uh, Nantwich um, and Bankman at the moment, and uh, we've had a bit of a storm. It's absolutely blowing a hooli, but it's uh, squall, so it's really windy. Then it stops, and at the moment, I'm uh, I just want to get off this embankment really because it's uh, absolutely battering the boat. So, I'm going to try and find uh, a mooring with a bit of shelter. Uh, there's some trees up ahead, so uh, let's move up there and see if we can get in. You can see this poor guy up here is battling with the wind as well. So uh, it really is blowing a hooli. So uh, I'll just wait for it to get his boat back in because he's blocking the canal at the moment, and then we'll uh, crack on. So I've just pushed the bow out. We got a little bit break in the wind. You can see here, chap up ahead's got someone helping him, and we're uh, we're going to be crabbing up here. And we got another boat coming. Oh bugger! This is going to be fun. That's better. Different world up here. All the wind's gone. The uh, this is us by Nantwich Canal Centre. Oh, just coming up there. I had no steering whatsoever. I just managed to get it on track, and the boat in front of me decides he's going to cut straight across me and moor up. Oh, what the hell? Some people, man. It's like, oh, crazy. Anyway, it's all done now, and the sun's come out, and the wind's stopped. Amazing how much difference it makes just getting out of that flipping wind. Right. Anyway, I was only just going to move out the wind, but uh, we might as well crack on. But where are we going to go? Is it going to be Chester? Or is it going to be Clangoughlin Canal? You better stay tuned if you want to find out. That was mad. I tell you what, I've had to take my jacket off. It's uh, it's gorgeous up here now. What a difference just moving 100 metres up the canal can make. There's no wind at all. Amazing. This spot here where, the, where this boat is uh, moored is usually the place where I usually stop. Why I stopped on the embankment, I've no idea. But uh, yeah, it's nice up here. And uh, that's the entrance to the Nantwich, not Whitchurch though, um, Canal Boat Centre. And they've got Chandlery down there, all services. Right, let's go. I tell you what, that was a mad, mad 10 minutes. Whoa. Glad I moved. We've got the shelter of these trees here and looking ahead it looks like it's a bit windy again but I don't care we're off that embankment and we're moving. As long as the boat's moving you get steering. When the boat stood still there's no steering. And that guy that just cut straight across my bow was just like oh mate couldn't pick a worse time. I'm proper out of control now. Just to the left of the canal here you can see the outskirts of a village act called Acton, a village called Acton. There used to be a cracking pub in there. I can't remember what it was called years ago. It was a really, really good pub. And uh, yeah, somebody bought it and they, uh, they turned it into a house. So the village has no pub. So uh, not really worth a stop to be honest you now. There's nothing there, just houses. Well, it was last time I went anyway was a couple of years back but the pub that used to be there was brilliant not long now till the little critters are about swannies on the nest you have to excuse me I'm munching a biscuit just coming up to bridge 93 I used to all around the corner from here and once in the middle of summer they moored there and a hire boat came and joined me and it was a lovely couple and uh, they had a really really gorgeous daughter and uh, yeah lovely girl and um, we decided to have a barbecue so we had a barbecue and we all had a few drinks and we had a really good night A 
her daughter was a very naughty girl. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> that was a good night. Hurlston Bridge now. In fact, well, Hur Hurlston Roving Bridge at Hurlston Junction. And if you go left here, it takes you up the Clangoflin Canal. Or if you stay going straight, it takes you up to Bar Bridge and on your way to Chester. Now, which way are we going to go? That is the question. This is a uh, Hurlston 48 hour moorings down here and uh, I've stopped here a few times, quite good. It's too windy today, flowing the boat all over the place. So uh, you always get the wind round this way. So we're going to crack on, do a few more miles. I always give, uh, give a little people a horn up here um, in case anybody's coming down off the Clangoflin because it's a bit of a blind bend they'll come out of Hurlston Locks and they'll come around this corner and you, you can't see if anyone's coming so it's always good practice to give a bit of a blow on the horn God it's windy So which way did you guess? Did you guess the Clangoffin or Chester? Let's find out. Oh, flipping heck. God, it's blowy. I'm all over the place, crabbing like mad. I'm gonna hit the bridge with a stern. Bagger. And poop the horn. Welcome to the Clangoflin Canal and I'm knackered. This is uh, Hurlston Locks. This is a narrow slock on the uh, network and this uh, lovely lady off of another boat is giving me a hand. Oh lordy. I tried to turn left after I left you then and the wind got me and it wouldn't let me turn so I had to pull the boat round by hand. Oh, All the way, yep. Yeah. And uh, I reckon my arms were about six inches longer than they were. Oh, that was hard work. Right, let's get out of this lock so these guys can, uh, they're on the boat behind me. So uh, if you're watching this vlog, thank you very much. You saved the day. This is us going into the second lock of four. And the uh, lady in the boat behind her son, Patrick, is helping me out with the locks. Good lad. Well done, Patrick. Oh, that's lock one, family behind me. They're doing their lock now. There's Hurston Reservoir. And I've been quite lucky so far. There's a, a boat coming down in lock two, so he'll exit that one, I'll exit mine. Uh, quite a short pound, so I'm not sure how we're going to do this. 
Um, yeah, that could be difficult. Okay, see how we get on. I was the gentleman. I did the difficult manoeuvre. <laughs> Fair play, they've left the top uh, gates open for me as well, so that's good. Make my life a bit easier. This is going to be difficult getting in here if I bang in the front. Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. These are tight locks, these are. Oh bugger bugger. Oh bugger 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 bugger. Oh bugger 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 Pulling that boat round that corner down the bottom. Oh, knackered. Absolutely knackered. Oh. Right, let's get this one done there. And and here we are at the top of Hurlston Locks. Well, that's the locks done out of the way. And here's uh, Hurlston Reservoir fed from the Clan Goflin. All that water's come all the way from the River Dee at Horseshoe Falls. A bit kind of often. It's looking very high at the moment. And at the top of Hurlston Locks, there's also um, services. Uh, the owl sand has been broke for as long as I can remember, but there is a lot of uh, water taps. So if you need water, this is where to fill up. Oh, we're just coming up to Bridge 5 now. On the jolly old Clang Offlin. I had to skip a bit then because the heavens opened. Oh dear. I'm not sure whether to go for Rembury tonight. It's uh, five o'clock at the moment. So I've probably got a couple of hours of light left. Um, means we've got five locks and. Uh, not sure. Should we head to Rembrandt or not? I'm not sure. It's just the weather has just changed now. It's got really, really cold. I wish I'd put my warmer jacket on. Up here at Bridge 6 is where uh, the coal boat loads up. Yeah, uh, Mount Batten being the coal boat and Jellicoe being the butty.